afternoon and welcome to Bronze Supercars. Now today we are going to be taking a little trip to Prinderville in Canary Wharf. They've recently moved away from Shoreditch to their new base in Canary Wharf. And once we're done there, we are going to be going towards Knightsbridge and Mayfair to see what's there. So I'm going to bring you along and I'll catch up with where I was looking for Prinderville. I couldn't find it at first, but after a little searching, I have found it. So I'm going to take you guys inside. Hopefully they'll let me feel and take a few photos. And then later on, you'll see them in a bit. So let's go inside. Yeah, just follow you on uh, Instagram. So if you put that part of then just tag us up and go. I will do. Wicked. You've seen some of the footage. I wasn't talking just because it was so quiet in there and it felt wrong. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Knights Bridge, see what's there and hopefully there will be some good cars out. If not, not a problem. But I think it's trust, we'll see something nice today. And it's kind of crap. It's going to get a bit noisy and then very sad. So I won't bring you along for that, but you'll see me as soon as I get out of Hyde Park. All night, I'll finally here. 
I've come to 45 Park Lane first, instead of going to Knightsbridge and doing Sloan Street and Harrods, just because usually I'm someone who will miss something important. So I've just come here really quickly to see what's here. And in front of me, we've got a Ferrari F12. I mean, I know it's really noisy and I can't help that rush hour has just started. But what do you guys think of the F12? As I try not to get in the way of traffic. I mean, I like it. Red with the yellow brake calipers. It's got a Qatari plate. And, um, I mean, what's more to love? I mean, people say the FF is better, but in my opinion, you've got to have an F12. So, I'm just going to head over to the Dorchester really quickly. So, guys, I've literally just come to the Dorchester. And we've got a Lamborghini, we've got an SV, we've got an SV Roadster. Well, actually, no, it's not a Roadster, it's just an Aventador SV, my bad. Someone's going to get onto me about that in the comments, I can tell. In red as well, with a Qatari number plate. We've got a Bentley. Beamer, Mercedes, and a white Wraith. So now, I'm just going to head over to Sloan Street, Harrods, Brompton Road, and see what's there. So I'll catch up for you at next bit of Ferrari 458. I'm currently still on a uh, Hardcore Corner, but I'll be moving pretty soon. And there's absolutely nothing there. So now we're just walking towards Harrods. Uh, hopefully there'll be something there. But for now, we'll just keep trying. And as if by magic, I have stumbled across a, an F-Type. Now, I think these cars are pretty sweet, but it just depends on the person. I'm currently standing in the middle of the road, on Pavilion Road, and I'm hoping not to get run over. But I mean, F-Types are pretty sweet, so you can't really complain about this. I mean, you've seen the Lamborghini earlier, then there's the Porsche and the Ferrari, and now an F-Type, so hopefully we'll find something else. There's going to be one more car before we you Guys, ask and you shall receive. I've just come to Harris Corner, and I've just stumbled across this sick Bugatti Veyron. I believe it's the Vitesse Grand Sport, and it looks amazing. If I get it wrong, don't forget to correct me, because any and all help is appreciated. Now, I'm trying not to get in the way here, but it's a pretty narrow road, so I think we'll be all right. But I mean, this car is beautiful. I believe it's got a satin black and silver paint job on it. It's so custom. Obviously, it's got a parking ticket, but if it didn't have a parking ticket, there would be something wrong here. So, yeah, and I mean, Check out the interior. Pretty sweet, huh? All right. I'll keep searching around for you guys. Hopefully we'll bring you something new. So I'm still on Brompton Road and I've just stumbled across the Bugatti Veyron Vitesse WRC. So it's black and orange. Orange rims, orange badge on the petrol cap. And I mean, this car is bloody brilliant. I mean, you've still got two years on a waiting list for a Veyron, but to be honest, for one of these, it's worth the wait. So I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. We might be in a vlog here. If not, I will let you know. But um, for now, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in a bit. Now I'm just sitting here this red light with my